Peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. I brought him. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. So the hit and run was a cover-up? I'd say he was stabbed twice at very close quarters. Both wounds thrusting upwards and then pushed in front of the car. <laughs> Easy, Tiger. Clever, really. I almost missed it. The trajectory of the wounds was all wrong if he was impaled by the hood ornament. Find the knife, detectives. Yes, sir. It all comes back to the crime scene. We need to hit Ray's one more time and trawl for evidence. We just wanted to check the crime scene over one more time, Mr. Sabo, if that's all right. Can you be quick about it? Cops are bad for business. Really? We'll tiptoe, Sabo. You won't even notice us. Lester right. could be a heel, step by but... step, check every that's inch of ground. That's a lousy way for anyone to go out. So this is why everybody comes to raise. this as the murder weapon. Let's talk to Leroy. See him explain his way out of this. Leroy Sabo, you're under arrest for the murder of Lester Patterson. Not gonna happen, fellas. It's too late, Sabo. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. Have patrol pick up Mrs. Patterson.
So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work.